Hi, I'm Hande the Dietitian and welcome to Healthy Made Simple, where I show you how to make healthy eating simple. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really easy butternut squash soup. Now, this is one of my favorite soups in the fall time. It is really rich in nutrients. Butternut squash has a lot of vitamin A, thanks to that beta carotene that we're seeing from that orange color, similar to carrots. It's also a great source of vitamin C, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. So there's a lot of nutrients in butternut squash, and a fall soup like this is a great way of incorporating it as a side vegetable to any dish that you're creating. Uh, one of my favorite ways of having the soup is with a side of bread and a protein to make it a complete balanced meal. Now this soup is really easy to make. All you need for this is going to be some butternut squash, onions, garlic, you know, the usual stuff, some sort of a broth. I use vegetable broth, but you can use any sort of broth for this. And then the key ingredients, the two key ingredients are the fresh herbs that are going in this, which are going to be rosemary and sage. I know it's a little bit out of the norm to get some sort of fresh herbs, but trust me, it adds a really nice flavor to the butternut squash to make this a delicious soup for the fall. If you're interested to see how you can put this together in about 20 to 30 minutes, it's pretty quick actually, stay tuned so I can show you how to make this delicious butternut squash soup. Alrighty, let's go! Alrighty, we're going to start by adding a generous amount of olive oil to our pot that has already been warmed up. You basically want to cover the bottom of your pot with olive oil. And then we're going to add in chopped onions next. And this is about one small chopped onion or about half of a medium onion that's going in. And give that a minute to just cook up a little bit in the olive oil before you add in the butternut squash. And this is a 20 ounce container of pre-cut butternut squash that I'm using. And I highly suggest using pre-cut ones to make this easier on you. Butternut squash can be challenging to cut. But we're going to mix that around with the onion and we're going to start cooking up the butternut squash first until it starts to soften up and you'll see the color start to get a little bit darker as well too so give that a few minutes to cook up while you work on prepping your fresh herbs and the fresh herbs that are going to be going in are going to be sage that's going in as well as rosemary and for the sage i did about five small leaves which gave me about a tablespoon and then for the rosemary, I did one sprig of rosemary, which was about half a tablespoon. And I chopped those up really small to go in. And then next we're gonna be adding in minced garlic and I'm doing four cubes of my frozen garlic, which is equivalent to four cloves of minced garlic. That's gonna be going in. And once all of my garlic is in there, I'm gonna give this a nice toss. And we wanna cook this for about one to two minutes until you start to see your garlic um, soften up, especially if you were using frozen and it becomes fragrant as well too. You start to smell that garlic. And then to that, we're gonna be adding in about two to three cups of broth until all of your squash is covered up. The squash is gonna be cooking in the broth, so you wanna make sure there's enough liquid in there to cover it up. And I ended up with about three cups that I added into this, cause I had a bigger portion here, but about two cups would work too. The more liquid you have, the less creamy it's gonna be, so you can always add in less in the beginning and add more broth later on if needed. And I'm just fixing up my squash around so that I can make sure they're fully covered up, and I'm just gonna add in just a bit more broth, and this is veggie broth I'm using. You can use chicken broth or bone broth if you wanted to do this as a higher protein option. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, you wanna cover it with a lid. And you're gonna simmer it for 20 minutes. And once it has simmered for 20 minutes, this is right around what it should look like. You should see that your squash is looking tender and it should be very tender at this point where once you poke it with your wooden spoon, if you were to smash it against the side of your pot 
with your wooden spoon, it should smash pretty easily. You can also use your wooden spoon to kind of just chop them around to make sure they feel tender, it's going through easily. I especially like to test the bigger chunks just to make sure if the bigger, bigger chunks are cooked, the smaller ones will be cooked as well. So this is looking right around done for me. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and then we're gonna blend. And I have an immersion blender that I rarely get to use, so I'm gonna use it for this. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can also do this in just a regular blender blender. Just be mindful that you're putting in hot liquid to your blender so it may splatter at you once you try to open it up. So just be careful if you're using a blender. But if you have an immersion blender like me, go ahead and use that instead. And we're going to go until this is smooth and it looks just like this. Look at that smooth, creamy consistency that didn't require any sort of butter or cream. It's just the vegetable that's been blended up and cooked in broth for a really healthy, delicious fall soup. And there we go. Just like that, we have our butternut squash soup. I love the consistency of this. It's a nice thicker soup and I do prefer my soups on the thicker side. So this is perfect for me. And I do have some bread here, some sourdough bread. This goes amazing in this. And as I mentioned earlier, soup like this covers all your vegetables. You've got carbs in the form of bread and I'm using sourdough bread. So all you need is some sort of a cooked protein on the side to make this a complete balanced meal. Mm, yummy. All right, I had to give myself a minute to finish my bread there. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped give you a good idea of how you can make a delicious soup that's healthy, that doesn't use heavy cream or butter or anything else that's going to really weigh it down, but just be really light vegetable soup that's going to cover your veggies for the mealtime. And thank you for following Healthy Made Simple. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos like this that show you how to make healthy eating simple at home. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.